Hey there, Chanel here from The Heart and Soul with your weekly oracle card reading for October 3rd through the 9th, 2022. Uh, next Monday is a holiday here in Canada. It's uh, Canadian Thanksgiving, but of course I'll be here as always. Just a reminder, doors are closing soon to Divine Map membership and October is mentorship month, so you're getting extra opportunity to work with me to deepen your skills in oracle card reading and mediumship twice this month. So jump on over to my website, check out the page. There is a free meditation you can check out to meet your guides. Lots going on as well. Presale is about to end on the Soulful Mystic Planner. So if you need your weekly day planner for 2023, now is the time to order it so that you get it at the lower price this year. Uh, pickup is mid October. Um, all right. I was drawn to the Goddess Guidance Oracle card deck. Um, I always like hesitate when I get this one because it's not one that I work with a lot, um, not personally or in business. So it's one of those ones that I'm like, all right, there's a specific message this week and this is the deck that holds it, but it's always a card that I'm like, oh, I don't know all these goddesses all that well. So we'll see what happens when we pull the cards. We've got three and we're just trying to grab that last card. Uh, it just doesn't want to, there we go. Okay. Three. Let's see what they have to say. So card number one is Ostra, the goddess of fertility. It is the perfect time for you to start new projects, assess new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. Um, it's so funny because there's, and I don't know what deck of card it is that I use, but there's a, a deck that has like a fertility card in it as well that is like pregnancy or fertility and everybody panics when that card comes up but it's often this message this birthing of a new idea it's funny because the energy really feels like not a lot of movement forward but it's very much about the birthing of new ideas about creating a plan and kind of digging into where it is you want to go and what you want to create and starting that action by simply moving into the energy of that versus like exploding out and doing things like left, right, and center. This is a gentle energy. This is like pregnancy. It takes 10 months for that baby to grow. It's the same thing here that they're saying that it doesn't have to be like thrown out there instantly, that we don't have to be pushing something out before it's ready. It's not about the hustle, it's about the nurture. So nurture those ideas, those things that you are working on to really get them out there, but take action. And action is creating a plan, is talking about it, is dreaming about it. All those things are creation. Okay, let's see what card number two is. Uh, Hathor receptivity. I like this. I like where they're going today. I'm not going to complain that this is the goddess oracle cards now. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. Um, it's interesting that the give to others part is at the bottom. And it's funny that it jumps out to me because there's this piece of give and receive that when we give, it creates more for us to receive. And we're not giving to get. That's not the purpose of giving. But it does create an energy that allows us to receive because we are giving and kind and sharing. And that doesn't necessarily mean financially even. It can be just of our time, our love, our support, that sort of stuff. Those things trickle out and then reverberate back. Um, so that's important to remember. This card also is asking us, and I love that there's two waterfalls there, about really going with the flow. And yes, a waterfall seems like a very scary flow to be going with, but it feels like this awareness of when we are willing to just take the risk, when we are willing to go on that adventure, that so many more things come available to us. When we step past fear, I love that saying, everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear because it is so true that when we let down the guard of fear, which is just there to kind of protect us and hold us safe, um, there's this awareness of what that fear really represents and is it actually a rational fear that we need to step into or can we just step past it and step into something way more beautiful? Every time I let down that piece of like, F it, 
I'm just doing it amazing things happen. So be open to the opportunities that are being presented to you, even if they seem scary. Honestly, it's the scary ones that always give us the biggest like jump forward because those are the ones that are really pushing us out of our comfort zone. So just think about that. Okay, let's pull card number three, Mary Magdalena. I love Mary Magdalena energy, unconditional love, love yourself, others in every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. Okay, this one feels like a dual purpose card as well. So we're going to go to the, the outward appearances right away. Um, beauty is not on the outside. Beauty is truly on the inside. And sometimes when we see people's insides, it's not so pleasant to see. There are so many people that walk through the world wearing a mask or uh, being a character that when they let down their guard and actually let us in, it can go either way. And often we see these beautiful people that are just trying to fit into the world. But sometimes we're like, could you please put the mask back on because I don't like what I see inside. People's actions will tell you what you need to know. Words and actions have to align to really truly be present in what someone is sharing with us. They're saying here this outward appearance piece too is that sometimes even an opportunity, what it looks like on the outside isn't always what it is on the inside. So even our opportunities, can you dig a little deeper and look into them before shutting it down and saying no? Again, sometimes it looks really good, but the reality is, is that it's not going to serve the purpose that you want it to serve. Okay, the other half of this card comes back to even this one here, this um, receptivity, this piece of like self-love. When we love ourselves, it is the first step to loving others. When we don't love ourselves, it makes it harder for us to love other things. <sighs> really loving who we are and what we do and what we stand for just sends out this incredible energy. And people are attracted to that energy because it's, it's like a big glowing light. It's like this warmth and this beauty and love and joy and nurturing and all those good things. So when you see businesses that are doing great, when you see people who are really successful and they're flourishing, it's often because they put out this energy, this energy of loving themselves and being empowered, not egotistical, empowered, but also that piece of sharing and caring and loving. And like, it's just this beautiful energy that we put out there when we have that. It's like the guard goes down to just allow this love to flow so freely. So the universe is reminding you of that. The universe steps in when there is more joy and happiness and is happy to make more of that. And again, law of attraction, where you're putting your focus is where your energy is flowing to. So when you focus it on love and joy, that is what it's going to create is more love and joy. So it's like this tumbling effect of just goodness. The energy is so beautiful right now. Really step into that energy and use it for what its purpose is this week. Really step into allowing your dreams to be bigger, allowing your actions to be soft yet expansive within. Allow yourself to feel the growth of where you want to go and really put your energy out there toward it. This week is about manifesting and creating more love and joy in your life. So I really hope that you are able to step into that and embrace it fully. Um, it is a beautiful reminder for myself. And I think when I'm done this, I'm going to do a little bit of journaling work for myself to just see what that means for me this week, because it feels really important to acknowledge it. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for being here, being a part of the weekly oracle card reading and a part of my journey. Thank you for allowing me to be your spiritual tour guide. 
Um, always remember there are lots of ways to work with me. Next in-person mediumship circle is on October 21st in Dundas, Ontario. Um, I do private sessions over Zoom and healing work, uh, business intuition, medical intuition, so many ways to work with me. And of course, the amazing Divine Map membership, which is a very inexpensive way to work with me. Um, and give yourself an opportunity to a lot of access to information that will help you really grow your spiritual practice and allow you to kind of dive down that spiritual journey. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you from my heart and soul to yours. Have an amazing rest of your week.